Islam and Muslims and Muslim community defeated the same narrative as the present said. Today also, we have the governor Omari, you know, the Democratic Party for presidents. He's here with us today. And I appreciate his covenant, Muhammad peace be upon him, before he become a prophet. Of joining an alliance, creating alliances in Mecca, before he was, uh, was an activist, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, before he became a prophet, he joined that alliance to protect the rights of. And we appreciate that you have joined us. America will be stronger and bigotry. We have to live up to our principles. And we cannot be partial about your principle. You cannot have double standards in principle. And that's why you appreciate you coming here today. And by the way, not only him, many leaders from the Jewish community and the Christian community have talked to me, they called me, they emailed me, they met with me, and they said, we stand with the American Muslims in this difficult time. My God Almighty, so the blessing upon all of us. My God Almighty, make us a model and example for others. Make us a community that serves humanity. Make, that human, make us a community that spread love, not hate. I spread faith, not fear. May Allah Almighty bring prosperity to this country of ours and to our communities. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us in the company of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who sent at mercy to the world. Allahumma dina fi man hadayt, wa afina fi man afayt, wa ulana fi man tawallayt, wa afina sharra ma qadayt, innaka taqdib al-haq wa la yaqadla alayk. Allahumma jalta man hadayt wa marhuma, tawarruqan al-ba'id farrafan ma'asuma, wa la jal fina wa la minna wa la baynana shaqiyin wa la mahruma. Allahumma inna nas'aluka ya maulana ya azim, an tashi mardana wa marda al-muslimin. Allahumma shi mardana wa fillahum wa rhamhum, wa afim wa afanhum, wa akrim nuzlahum. واسم خلهم واسم خطاياهم الماء والثلج والبرد اللهم نقل قلوبنا من الغل والحسد والمن والرياء وملاء بحبك وحب رسولك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله وصلي على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وعلى محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد واقم الصلاة إن صلاة على الحشائي والمنكر وذلك الله أكبر الله أكبر الصلاة Democratic presidential candidate Martin O'Malley visited a Virginia mosque. He talked about the Trump for his call to ban Muslim immigrants. This is half an hour. Hello, sisters. Uh, as Imam Majid said, we do have a very special guest with us today. So we would ask you, unless you have uh, someplace to have you or show some courtesy and uh, help us to welcome Governor Martin O'Malley. Now, as Imam Majid said, you know, we are facing a very difficult time here. We have peace support of our community. We are a 501c3. We do not endorse political parties, candidates, or issues. However, we are delighted to welcome their support, willing to talk to us and ask us for our support. Those who are likely to come out when they're seeking our support and to talk with us and to hear us out, hear our concerns, will have an opportunity. Um, there'll be a press conference afterwards. There'll be an opportunity before that press conference to stop and say hello. I encourage all of you at least to come by for coming out. Um, whether or not you choose to support him is your personal decision. Uh, we don't have anything to do with that with Adams. But I can tell you this, as Imam Ajit control, we cannot do that as a community. So it is my great pleasure um, we're delighted, again, as O'Malley served two terms very successfully in Maryland. He's running for the Democratic nomination for the president. We're delighted to welcome him for the first time, not to a mosque, but the first time to roll it with applause. So, it is my great pleasure, Governor Mark O'Malley. Salaam alaikum. It is wonderful to be with all of you, and Imam, it's great to see you again, sir, and, uh, and enjoyed listening. My name is Martin O'Malley. I am the former governor of Maryland. I am running for president of the United States, seeking the Democratic Party's nomination. Uh, we've qualified to be on the ballot here in Virginia. Maybe some of you signed my petitions. But my primary reason for being here today is in solidarity in these challenging times. I have had a real blessing to be able to travel throughout our country uh, and on uh, San Francisco, I think I was, um, I think. 
Um, and, and what I find throughout our country, it's, it's really, we are nonetheless united by our belief in the dignity of every person, by our belief in the common good that we share and our own responsibility to protect, by our understanding that we're all in this together, that we do in fact share a solidarity as Americans and as children of, of one God. And in these times, politicians or hate preachers, no nation is immune from the scourge of hate preachers, uh, to, uh, to turn us upon our language that you hear from Donald Trump is not the language of America's future. I, I know the language of America's future. I speak to our young people under 30. <laughs> Throughout my service in Maryland, we celebrated the fact that we were one Maryland. We would host a iftar event so that my Muslim neighbors make America strong. They are our doctors. They are our engineers. They are our lawyers. <laughs> not only one of solidarity, but also of encouragement. Because in order to rise and to meet these challenges, we need each other. We really need our American Muslim neighbors. Uh, I know that there have been many acts of, of violence. I know that there are acts of, of the arc of our history, as I was listening to the imam, is a larger arc of love and generosity and respect for one another. And so that our young people understand that the tragic uh, murders that took place in San Bernardino does not define Islam. <laughs> and together, together we, uh, we have what it takes as a people. Uh, every generation always faces challenges, and we face challenges too. This is the changing nature of conflict in the world. But the world is not that each of us has uh, a dignity and a freedom and a calling, and that each person is needed. And so I say to you, uh, here today to overcome these challenges. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I say personal greeting and a personal thank you to the governor out in the foyer. Uh, any of you who would like to attend that press conference, please do so in the parking lot downstairs so we can have. Uh, and if you are leaving, if you do have to leave, please go out along the side stairways uh, out in front so we don't get uh, involved with the podium. Uh, also, we have our conference as well. Hey, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Like the way we came. Hey, thank you. Thanks for thanks for letting me stop by. Thank you. Sorry, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Good being with you. Thank you for all you do for our country. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. We have, a, we have a saying in the Catholic Church, the politicians at the pulpit with you. Thank you. Wonderful community. Since we appreciate your coming. Hey, thank Taking you, your my shoes Thank you. coming like us. Hey, hey, thank thank you. you. May God bless thank you. you. Yeah, honored to be with you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. I appreciate your kind and helping them, uh, taking care for us and our boys. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, they belong to those guys out there. This is from them. Oh, that's from here? Okay. We are going to give you another uh, microphone. Thank you for so paying attention. Thank you for your running. Hey, thank you, man. Thanks a lot. I offer we'll you this. Thank you, God, for your success. Hey, thank you. We'll pray for each other. Okay. Thank you. Good to meet you. Uh, thank you for having me. Great honor to be with you guys. Thank you. Great, great to be with you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. We are here for you. Thank you. Thanks very much for all your kindness. We'll do it together. Hey, thank you. We shall. Hey, how are you? Sure. Congratulations, I'm voting for you. Hey, thank you. Hopefully What's you your name? Haj Yusuf. Haj Yusuf, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Sure, selfie. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Great being with you. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can I, can I sure, absolutely. Pictures are free. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I agree. 100%. 100%. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I, not, I won't take a picture now. I will take the God's here. How can we help you to promote you on the list? Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you. My website, martinomalley.com. Yeah, you can come on there if you can help. How can you do it? Yeah, well, yeah, I have some friends here. My friend Anmar is here. And, uh, you know, but but the best way is to sign up on the... Thank you, man. Thank you a lot. You could send a check, yeah, absolutely, because I need you. Thank you. Thank you, please, absolutely. Send a check. You got my boy. Awesome.
and the fr- and I'm thank me. you. I'm I want to just leave a little I'm message from unknown person T- coming here today to leave that, but to to support all humanity. Yes, uh, we're all in this together, we, man. All together. We're, we're all in this together. And so they try to take a picture. I'd be honored to have a picture uh, with sure. your father. Thank you. Thank you. Great honor to meet you. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good being with you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Hi. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Great. Great to be with you. Okay. Hey. Thank you. Good to see you. Good. 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 Good to see you. Thank you so much for Hey. Awesome to be with you. Such a nice community. Sure. Can we? Kevin can take it. Yes, please. I know I was dressed up better than Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Great being with you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we're going to give the sisters a chance. Yes. Okay, let me get in the middle here. Thank you. Thank you. Who's got the camera? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you and your family and everybody. Thank you. Okay? Wonderful being with you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, man. Thank you. Thanks very, very much. Can I get Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Sure, glad to. Make the history of our community. Thank you. It's quite a, quite a center. Hey. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great being with you. Hang in there now. We're all in this together. Thank you. Please. Sure. you got to turn it around. Hold on. Uh, so, uh-oh, it closed now. Well, how do we do this here? I'm very proud of the fact that we have a number of people in our own community here at Adams, as well as the, the Muslim community at large, who are members of the U.S. Armed Services and who have served their country in any, every way to defend their country. Um, I'm proud to ask um, another vet, uh, a veteran of the U.S. Army, um, Brother Rashid. My name is Rashid Abdel Rahim Hamdan. I was born in Michigan and spent much of my life here in Virginia. I'm currently a graduate student at Georgetown University. I'm a proud Muslim, and I'm a proud student in the Army in 1999 at the age of 18 upon graduating high school. I served five years and was able to attain the rank of sergeant. I was served in the 3rd Infantry Division on 9-11. American Muslims were also attacked on 9-11. During my military service, I took our country abroad, both in Afghanistan, Iraq, and elsewhere. I also work for the FBI in maintaining the integrity of our national, wa- our national watch list. My father, a devout Muslim, spent seven years as a translator in the U.S. Embassy in Iraq, safeguarding our troops and translating for us. And our commitment to this nation is being questioned. And I feel that my family's service to this country as loyal Americans is being demeaned unjustly. Muslim Americans are no different from any other Americans. We are your classmates, your soldiers. I hope and pray that we can fight intolerance with tolerance, division with dialogue, and fear with friendship. Thank you. You notice behind us the vision of what this Muslim community really is in the United States. We represent countries from Malaysia to Morocco um, and everything in between. Many in America, Americans, native-born Americans, um, all others. So we are Americans like everyone else. Um, I'd like to also ask Mr. Jim Zogby to say a few words. Very. Thank you. Um, what is happening today is not unusual. It's not an unusual occurrence in the history of it. In times of great stress, in times of dislocation, We've always had voices of division and hate. It happens all the time. But what also happens all the time is that voices that bring us together, voices of hope, voices that stress what our better angels are saying to us, come forward. And that message always trumps the message. Since I've met uh, Martin O'Malley on the campaign trail, 
I have been witness to the fact that he has the voice that I think brings us together, a voice of vision and a voice of America's future and the best of what America has to offer the world. I feel for its pain, but also because I've grown to care a lot about Martin O'Malley and the voice he brings to our, in our country today. And I know that the voice he brings and the message he brings is the voice and the message that ultimately will triumph. Here's our Imam, our executive religious director, Muhammad Majid, um, who's somebody who has really represented America and the voice of American Muslims. So Imam Majid. Thank you so much. Governor O'Malley, it means a lot to all of us. Have you to be said many times that Muslims, that violence, extremism, and terrorism does not represent Islam, is a cult. It is not what the value of this beautiful religion is all about. That's why today when I gave my sermon, I was talking about our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as if have taken the life of all humanity. And whoever saved one life, as if have saved the life of all humanity. Governor O'Malley, I would like to really to our community and thank you so much for standing with us. Yeah, thank you. by my hospitality with which you've received me today. It's a great privilege and a true blessing to be here with all of you, especially at this time, country's history. And I, I also want to especially thank, um, I want to thank our, our veteran, Rashid Hamdan. R Rashid, thank you for the, the hateful things he did about wanting to seal off the borders and, and prevent uh, our Muslim American neighbors from traveling up I had to ask myself, going to begin with all of those patriotic Muslim Americans serving in our armed forces all around the world, keeping us safe. Uh, the, the truth of the murders, the people who are, who are now grieving in our country for that tragic loss of life. Uh, and I want to say this, that those attacks do not represent Islam any more than uh, the mass shootings that have happened in other places in the country. Islam is not what the Muslim American people of our country are about. And I know this because they are my neighbors. And we have a challenge now. We have a challenge because democracies are most vulnerable after an attack. That which makes us America freedom of speech freedom to worship, freedom of association, if those are the first things that we give up because of our inability to speak out and to speak up and to give, and give voice to the truth, then shame on us. Donald Trump and his... But it, is, but it is enough for evil to succeed that good men and women fail to speak up. And so that is why I wanted to be here today. I wanted to be here in solidarity. I have served uh, just over the river from you in Maryland for two terms as a governor. Everybody always likes their neighboring governor's strength. I know because of, of the work that I've, that I've done with our Muslim American uh, neighbors in Maryland, feeding the hungry. Anwar uh, is here with me today and uh, feeding the hungry, clothing uh, uh, the naked, uh, providing help in so many, many ways that reinforce the which This sort of fear-driven politics has consequences. And it's consequences that go far beyond the flash in the pan of the, of the poll that some of the networks uh, 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 put up on the news. It has consequences for all of us, for our families. It can make people very, very... Uh, the incident that took place, I think, in, in Philadelphia. So, uh, look, this is the time when we need to remember that a pluribus unum, from many comes one strong country, that truth has never been more needed than it is today. Uh, we are a great people. <laughs> values of hate preachers like Donald Trump. Our values are the values of generosity, of compassion, of mercy, and yes, justice. Doing justice and yeah. walking humbly with God. <laughs> so we are all, uh, we have to remember that we are one and that our cause is one. And we have to help each other if we were going to say, if, if we are going to succeed. Those are Douglas at another time of, of conflict and challenge. But those words still ring true today, don't they? Uh, I, uh, I want to thank you so very, very of those universal human values that all of us share. And, uh, and I thank you for, for coming out this, this afternoon. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Governor, we'll take some questions, I understand. Sure.
reach out to those victims? Look, I have, um, as a, I have not gone to San Bernardino since that has happened. I uh, can tell you this, uh, whether uh, I have, I have as, as a former governor and as a former mayor, I have often been on a regular basis. Uh, and to the, to the mom or the dad that has to bury a child, the, the motive of the person that pulled the trigger and them uh, uh, does, uh, does nothing to change the unfathomable loss. Uh, my heart goes out to all of, all of our citizens who... We have a terrible problem in our nation, and it is the, it is the scourge of, of guns and gun violence. We bury more people because of gun violent nation on the planet. Uh, we have to do better. There are common sense things that we should be doing to keep guns out of the hands of violent extremists of all strength. The indifference that sometime attended the other 350 mass shootings that have happened this year, and maybe we can ask ourselves things we can take that are more life-giving than simply shrugging our shoulders and saying there's nothing we can do about it. Let me close by simply saying uh, Adams has been proud to welcome politicians over the last decade. We've had politicians from virtually every local coming here with us. Um, we do not endorse any candidates. We are 501c3. But I will say this, um, we're delighted to welcome you very much for being here. And to the members of the press, he talked about governors across the room. McCall, if we'll be coming to the Adams Free Clinic tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock in Fairfax. If you'd like information about that, we'd like to cover that event. We'd be certainly happy to...
Right. Well, they wanted to be a choir. Like people, like they had like phones that were like, Maryland Congressman and House Minority Whip Steny Hoyer 